You can breed children. Just like animals have children. That doesn't equal training children. I want to appreciate my wife openly today. Amen. For a job well done in raising our children. Amen. Women, you have a lot to do in helping and getting the children up. A lot to do. You may, you may be a success in your career. If you're a failure at home, you're a failure indeed. If you do your job on time, you'll be free from all those burdens. You I tell people all the time that one of the greatest blessings that I believe that ever came to me was the investment of God in me by my parents. I didn't give my life to Christ. Hallelujah. I didn't give my life to Christ anywhere else. My mother, thank God for her, she's here. She led me to Christ and I was baptized in the Holy Ghost same day under her. Same day. Women, you have a lot to do in helping and getting the children up. A lot to do. You may, you may be a success in your career. If you're a failure at home, you're a failure indeed. Proverbs 31, verse 25 to 28. Talks about this virtuous woman. And we all know about it. This woman took responsibility to raise godly children. And the children will rise tomorrow and call her blessed. Strength and honor are, are clothing and she shall rejoice in the time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is a law of kindness. She looked well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. And what happens? Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also and he praises her. May you be that virtuous woman. Why is that so? The women are the closest to the children. From childhood, from birth, they are just with you at all times. They could feel your breath. Take responsibility. I said it in the first service. I want to appreciate my wife openly today. Amen. For a job well done in raising our children. Amen. Take responsibility. Every Sunday evening, household seminar. Everyone giving a book to read. Everyone soaked in the in the mandate. Everyone speaking friendly in tongues before you can leave this place. Everyone being able to understand the voice of God. So we never was involved in any marriage in our home. No arrangement. Each one found whom God has led them to. And I knew them when he brought them to me. No one was told what cause to read. You know, we are only given to care for these children. Don't tell the guy they are lying. We just say, hey, these are the books to read. To be able to hear God clearly and live your life fulfillingly. Oh, I'm going to study this. Praise the Lord. Go in peace. Hallelujah. I'm going to study this. Go ahead. I never called one person to minister, sir. Heaven is hearing me. Never. Never. Everyone that was called to ministry had to write his vision for me to look at. 
And when you give me something, don't rush me. <laughs> I take my time. Amen. No makeup, no games, no nothing. Enough of playing God. Let God have his way. Somebody's told is changing. If you do your job on time, you'll be free from all those burdens. You'll be free from them forever. So for all young parents, wake up now. Take responsibility. Don't let the blessing of God become a cause in your life by sending a primary two child to go abroad. And you'll be doing what at home? Doing what? Doing what? Is it God's fault that He gave you money? It must be. No blessing of God will ever become a cause in your life. Can I hear your loudest amen? Listen to me. It is no achievement that your children are abroad. It's no achievement. There is no abroad that will be a solution for your home training. You don't train them today. They will show you tomorrow. So for those grown-ups that are out, out, for all the children that are there, bring them back home. I'm passing that instruction. You may not like what I'm saying, but I'm free from the blood of everybody. For the ones that are grown up, structure your training and send them through all available channels. I'd like you to go through this this week. One, two, three, four, five. There are things that you must do otherwise. <laughs> God forbid. Amen. God forbid. Amen. Somebody's told this change. No one shall regret at the end of his journey. Samuel regretted in spite of that anointing. Eli regretted in spite of his high placement in God's agenda. You and I will never regret. When a child has God invested in them, their, their future is secure. Their future is secure. I tell people all the time that one of the greatest blessings that I believe that ever came to me was the investment of God in me by my parents. I didn't give my life to Christ. Hallelujah. I didn't give my life to Christ anywhere else. My mother, thank God for her, she's here. She led me to Christ and I was baptized in the Holy Ghost same day under her. <laughs> same day. Why? It was an investment in me. And when God is inside a child, it is a monitor he cannot run away from. Take time to invest in your children. We live in a corrupt world. A world that is full of infiltrations of evil. There used to be a time that you could put set physical defenses in order to try to stop corruption from coming near. But Satan has heightened technological penetration. So today, people will sit down in one place and what people used to run around to get come to meet them where they are on their phone. But if a child is invested in where that child is pregnant with God inside them there are things that they get to that they will not come near because of what has been positively invested in them invest God in your children invest God in your children let them embrace the reality of the world and make it a, make it a way of life for them I learned from what I experienced growing up. For me, my children, from the time they could talk, they start quoting scripture. When you start saying, Daddy, you cannot start saying, I have the mind of Christ. From then. As long as, as, long as talking is possible, scripture is necessary. Because the Bible says, from a child, thou hast known the 
holy scriptures which is able to make thee wise unto salvation many are falling into destruction because they are not giving room for the necessary instructions of the scripture I love what the Bible says. Look at this with me. The book of Proverbs chapter 6 verse 20 to 23. Look at what the Bible says here. It says, Proverbs 6, 20 to 23. Put it on the screen. My son, keep thy father's commandment. Forsake not the law of thy mother. Look at verse 21. Bind them continually upon thine heart. Tie them upon thy neck. What will happen? When thou goest, it shall leave thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. When thou awakest, it will talk with thee. Why? It said in verse 23, For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light, and the reproofs of instruction are the way of life. <laughs> Invest it inside them. Let them begin to know God and know His word. When you are not there, the world will keep talking to them. It will tell them, that friend is not good. Cut him off. Hear this, so the word of God is a counselor. It will counsel them even in your absence. That is why you must make it, you must make a conscious effort to make sure that continuously you are investing God and his word in your children. Let them embrace the reality of the God that you serve. Shout hallelujah. This is too important. The moment you and I give room and give place to the investment of God and his word in your life, you are positioning yourself to experience peace in the future. God servant said something some time ago and he made mention of it in another way today. He said the child you pamper today will tamper with your peace tomorrow. Be careful. The child you Tamper today will tamper with your peace tomorrow. Oh, don't worry. Everything's okay. No problem. It's children of nowadays and so forth. Tomorrow, tomorrow. It will tamper with your peace. When they start calling such individuals from police station to police station, from place to place, it tampers with your peace. Refuse to pamper today so your peace is not tampered with tomorrow instruct them today in doing so you are constructing them for tomorrow i see grace coming upon each one of us for this in the name of jesus amen. some of the believers say louder amen. amen i said i see grace coming upon us for this in the name of jesus amen. you believe you say louder amen. amen i saw something in scripture and this showed one of the major reasons why you see failures arise even on the back of success first kings chapter one and verse six don't allow the society teach you how to raise children it's a wrong picture catch a vision from scriptures on how to raise your children <laughs> hear this and i heard the holy ghost anyone can breed children but very few can train children. You can breed children. Just like animals have children. That doesn't equal training children. And let me quickly submit to you. That you are trained well. Doesn't automatically pass your training to your children. A trained dog doesn't give birth to a trained dog. The dog has to be trained by himself. 